हेलो इंग्लिश लर्नर्स दिस इज प्रियंका चौधरी वेलकम टू माई चैनल अगेन दिस वीडियो इज ऑल गोइंग टू बी अबाउट लर्निंग इंग्लिश वो कैबुलरी सो वी हैव दिस हैबिट ऑफ स्पेसिंग वेरी 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 अगेन वी जस्ट कीप सेंग वेरी गुड वेरी बैड वेरी टेस्टी वेरी फनी वेरी बोरिंग सो इंस्टेड ऑफ सेंग वेरी 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 अगेन यू कैन यूज सम अदर वर्ड्स एज वेल इंस्टेड ऑफ सेंग वेरी ऑल द टाइम सो लेट्स लर्न What are these words that you can replace with the word very? Let's begin. So the first word is this. Very afraid. Very afraid. Instead of saying very afraid, you can say terrified. Here you can see some examples where you can use very afraid in a different way. You can say terrified. For example, I was terrified to see the snake at my home. Like this, you can also use this word in English sentences. Move on to the next word. Next is this one. Very hot. So instead of saying very hot, you can say boiling. How can you use this? There is boiling water in the glass. Don't touch it. So like this, there are some other examples where you can use boiling water in sentences. Let's look at the next one. Very angry. So rather than saying very angry, you can say furious. Examples. When I got low marks in my exam, my father got furious and he started scolding me. Like this, you can also use this word in your sentence. Let's have a look at the next word. Next is very tired. Uh, stop saying very tired again and again and start saying exhausted. Now how can you use this in a sentence? You can use it like this. After covering a long distance, I got exhausted and I thought to take some rest. Or here are some other examples where you can use exhausted. Let's, look, let's have a look at the next word. Next is very big. So instead of saying very big, you can say enormous. Now let's have a look at the example. They live in an enormous house. That's an enormous tree. So like this, you can also frame sentences and you can use this word in English or you can use this word while speaking. Let's have a look at the next word. Very dirty. So don't use very dirty again and you can say filthy. Now let's use this word in sentence. I have never smoked. It's a filthy habit. Like this, you can also use this word. Now, have a look at the next word. Very unusual. So rather than saying very unusual, you can say extraordinary. Extraordinary, how can you use this in a sentence? For example, she did an extraordinary performance in her exam. Or what an extraordinary idea. Okay, now it's your turn to make sentences on this word. So here are some other examples. That will help you to understand how you can use this word extraordinary. Next word, very cheerful. So instead of saying cheerful or in place of cheerful, you can say hilarious or you can say hysterical. So hilarious or hysterical mean the same. Very cheerful. Means how can you use this word in sentence? Yes. The movie Hera Fairy is a hysterical movie. Or you can say that joke was hysterical and that comedy show was completely hilarious and hysterical. And there are some other examples that will help you to use this word. Let's have a look at the next one. Is very worried. So in place of very worried, you can say anxious. For example, before seeing my result or before getting my result, I was anxious. Or you can say she was looking anxious to think about her result. Like this, you can also use these words while speaking. There are some other examples where you can use this word anxious. That's enough for today's class. And if you like this video and you found it worthy or helpful, then do not forget to like, subscribe and share. I will be meeting you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.